Namaste. Today we will be starting with the names of Lord Krishna from the ninth chapter of Bhagavad Gita. So when we say ninth chapter, uh, it refers to the Raja Vidya Raja Guhya Yogam. Raja Vidya is, you know, a great Vidya that we have to learn. Raja Guhyam means something which needs to be protected in a kingly fashion. So, it is a very, very important chapter where uh, Krishna reveals a lot of secret protectable information to Arjuna. Now, uh, here we will be dealing with a, a sloka which has two very important names. One is Bhuta Bhavana, the other is Bhuta Brit. Before we go into the details of this, it is a uh, a uh, key thing for us to understand that these two names appear within the first 10 names of Sahasranama. Both Bhutabrit and Bhutabhavana are used and both the Acharyas, uh, Sri Adi Shankara as well as um, Parasara Bhatta have explained that Bhutabhavana refers to the growth of the creature. So, let us get into the details. Bhuta means anything that is created. So, what do we mean by creation? For example, when a child is born, the parents, we could likely say, have created that child. But who created the parents? Now, who created those parents? So, if we keep going up the ladder, everything will end up with Lord Krishna being the cause of all the causes. So, he is the Bhuta Bhavana, the creator of everything in this universe, the one who nourishes everybody and the uh, Bhuta Brick would refer to the one who uh, on whom everything dwells. So, he is the person on whom every other thing dwells. So, when we understand everything, we earlier saw that Lord Krishna is the Antaryami. He resides in every person and all of us are a Sarira who reside in his body. Right? Now, in this sloka, Krishna says that I do not reside in everyone and nobody um, is my Sarira. So, what does Krishna actually mean? This sloka comes in the uh, ninth chapter, fifth sloka. So, what does Krishna actually mean by this? So, we will have to explore it. Let us go into the sloka. Nacha matsthani bhutani pashyame yoga maishwaram bhuta brinnacha bhutasto mamatma bhuta bhavanaha. So, in this sloka, we have to understand a very, very deep concept. Swami Ramanuja has explained this concept, um, you know, in a way that we all can understand. Now, imagine a pot filled with water. Now, the pot actually holds the water. So, Lord Krishna says, that is not the way I hold the universe, I hold the created beings. So, do not understand me in this way. So, how are we to understand? He says, the pot is actually required in order to hold the water, but for me, I do not need any physical thing like that. It is my sankalpa which is capable of holding everything in its place. So, let us imagine the ocean. How does the ocean be where it is? Why is it not overflowing? Why is it not getting dried up? It is because of the sankalpam of Lord Krishna. How do the clouds get created? How, do, how does the wind go around? How is wind contained? Is it contained anywhere? How does all this happen? We see the sun, we see the moon. Everything is there in its place. The uh, planets do not seem to clash with each other. How is all this possible? All this is because of the sankalpa of Lord Krishna. Now, think about ourselves. We have a sariram, we have an atma. Now, this atma is very powerful. It can take care of the sariram, uh, you know, with all its means. It is intelligent, it is uh, got a lot of uh, wonderful qualities, but still the Atma is dependent on Sariram for a few things. Now, let us just say that a person does not eat for a month. Will he be able to survive? If he does not even drink water, will he be able to survive? If he does not breathe, will he be able to survive? So, what happens is some aspects uh, which the Sariram does which the body does is required for our Atma to survive. So, Lord Krishna says, that is not the way I am inside your Sariram. So, Krishna 
is the antaryami but he is not like the atma that we have he is not like the jeevatma because he is paramatma all these are not going to affect him there is nothing that we can do to krishna the shariram cannot do anything to krishna the atmas which are the shariram to krishna cannot do anything to krishna so lord krishna is independent of all this he is the controller he is the ishvara of all the pancha bhudas all of us know about the pancha bhudas right so prithvi vayu tejas <coughs> appu akash everything so he is the controller of all these pancha bhudas in turn anything created by it he is the controller so lord krishna says that do not think that i am like everything else uh, everything dwells on me but it is not the way you think it is because we cannot help him in any way but krishna helps us in all possible ways he helps us to um get out of the samsara sagara so he helps us to grow ourselves so krishna is our nourisher all of us dwell in him so arjuna after understanding all these deep concepts in the 10th chapter 15 sloka addresses lord by five different names swayam eva atmanatmanam vedatvam purushottam bhuta bhavana bhutesh Deva Deva Jagat Pate. So here Arjuna says, Hey Purushottama, you are Bhuta Bhavana. Bhuta Bhavana, you are the creator, the nourisher of all the Bhutas, all the Jeevarasis. Then he says, oh let me not confuse it with whoever I am seeing here. You are the Deva Deva, you are the Lord of all the Lords also. And then he says, uh, Jagat Pati, not just the Lord of Lords, you are the Lord of the entire universe, you are Purushottama. So, Arjuna understands this concept the way he should. He says, you are Bhutesha, so you are not just the creator, but you are the Lord of everybody. So, he addresses Lord Krishna with five different names, understanding the divine qualities of Lord Krishna. So, from these two names, in summary, what are we to understand? we have to understand that the lord just by his sankalpa just by you know thinking about it creates the entire universe he creates all the living beings he not just creates us he nourishes all of us he sustains all of us and he, all of us actually dwell in him we become his sarira we all dwell in him but this is not the way we usually visualize in this world because he is not affected by any of these things because he is not affected by any of these things he is equal to everybody he is like a mirror he takes care of everybody equally and this is such a great kalyana guna and all the planets everything that we see in this universe do not collide with each other everything remains in its place everything works the way he has instructed everything to be so we have to understand the greatness of this uh, creation in fact lord krishna in the 9th chapter 5th sloka which we were seeing now he tells arjuna hey arjuna look at my yoga aishwaryam all these are my aishwaryam my possession and my possession need not actually be carried by me these are by my sankalpam itself such is the power of my sankalpam so we have to understand this great miracle this great aishwaryam which krishna exhibits to arjuna so these names help us to understand the magnitude of things which krishna is explaining therefore let's remember lord krishna there is nothing that we can do to him if we tell krishna hey krishna you give me this and i'll give you that it's like a barter system it's trading something with krishna but krishna is not going to be happy with anything that we trade for all what he wants us to do is just repeat his name have devotion towards him because imagine a child writing an exam and the a uh, teacher you know uh, encourages the child uh, she says oh you've done it very well i'm giving you 100 out of 100 do well the next exam also is there any benefit for the teacher by all this encouragement nothing right if the child studies well and uh, takes the right path the child is going to be benefited so also when we recite lord's name when we have devotion when we go in the right path it is going to help us go to the next level so krishna is not going to gain anything by that but he says look i'll be very happy if you do all this why is he telling all that 
just to guide us in the right path, in the right direction. So there is nothing whatsoever we can ever do to Lord Krishna. All we have to do is just surrender to him. Be of servitude to Lord Krishna. Remember the great names of Bhuta Bhavana, Bhuta Brit, all the help that he does, all his auspicious qualities. So remembering thus, for every breath that we do, let's repeat Lord Krishna's names and be blessed. Madhava Chuda Krishna Hare Rishi Kesha Keshava Govinda Vasudeva Bhagavan Janardana